Right now, a House committee has subpoenaed Harvard University for obstructing its anti-Semitism investigation. This is the first time in more than 150 years that lawmakers have subpoenaed a university. Harvard now has until March 4th to submit key materials related to all anti-Semitic incidents since January of 2021. Our Jay O'Brien is following this from the Hill for us. So, Jay, let, let's talk about why this committee is doing this now and, and what exactly do they hope to gain? Well, remember, Kara, this committee has been laser focused on anti-Semitism on college campuses for the past few months since the outbreak of the Israel Hamas war. They held that very public hearing, you'll recall, with the presidents of three Ivy League institutions, one of them who was Claudine Gay, who was then the president of Harvard. Uh, the committee now says that Harvard has not turned over key materials that the committee believes are key to their investigation. What exact materials the committee wants is still somewhat unclear, but they want things dating back years to show what the committee alleges may be a pattern here. Um, so that's why they issued these subpoenas. Now, Harvard hit back and said they've been cooperating with the com with this uh, with the committee. They believe that this is an overreach on the committee's part. Harvard has sent the committee 3,000 pages worth of documents. So Harvard's point of view is they are cooperating in this ongoing House investigation. The committee says they want more out of Harvard, and that's why they issued what you noted are these historic subpoenas. So has Harvard responded to the subpoena? Yeah, they, they said in a sense that, as I noted, they said they've been cooperating with the committee, that they are discouraged by the fact that the committee felt the need to compel this information out of Harvard because Harvard says it's been cooperating with this ongoing probe, not just having its then president go to that very public hearing, as you said, but giving, as I mentioned, thousands of pages of documents over to this Republican-led investigation. Nonetheless, the committee says they don't believe that's enough. They want things that they say Harvard has not turned over despite congressional requests. That's why they're issuing this mandate. A subpoena is non-negotiable. You have to comply with a congressional subpoena or Congress can hold you in contempt. That's why the committee believes it's taking this step. They want these documents out of Harvard. We're seeing a lot of changes at one of the most prestigious universities, that's for sure. Jay, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.